Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. All right, so we're going to toss some fragrances on the tray, the top and bottom tray for March. I did really good with wearing everything that was on the tray for February, except for three fragrances. But we're going to go ahead and just start with March. All right, so I'm going to try to go with more of florals, uh, bright, um, a little citrus added. Some I'll throw in here, of course, for cooler days because sometimes it is cool in the morning. Like today, 50, something's to high. And then later on, it kind of like warms up, come middle week and so on. So. We're going to start with Gucci Bloom. I try to get this in in spring before it gets too hot, like in the middle of uh, summer, but you know I'm going to wear it anyway. Uh, it is a two worlds for fragrance. Very uh, floral, and I love it. Um, let's see. Let's throw uh, another two worlds up here. Let's throw Tom Ford Two Worlds New. I really like that one. That's good for these cooler mornings and whatnot. Um, hmm. If it warms up by the um, end of the month and it gets back to like where we had the temperatures of the day that was in the 80s, I will be wearing um, Tom Ford's Eau de Soleil Blanc. So let's throw that up there. I really enjoy that. And so we'll, of course, add the oil. I keep the oil out all the time anyway because I just like the way it feels. We'll add that. Let's think of something else pink. We do have a uh, Gucci Flora, and this is Gorgeous Gardenia. This is um, a little bit stronger than the EDT. It does last longer than the EDT, so they did well with making this. It's a really pretty pink floral. Reminds me of um, Juicy Couture's Viva La Juicy. This is a little bit more. Viva La Juicy for me is like my daughter's style. This is more of like maybe college girl style, but I do like it because it's very flirty and flirtatious and pretty. Girl next door. Um... Let me see if I'm going to add this one. Let me smell this one. This one might, I might not add. Okay. Um. No, not yet. All right. So let's add another one. Let's go ahead and add My Way from Giorgio Armani. As you see, um, I used this quite a bit last spring. I do like this fragrance. Um, I will get the intense once this is used at least halfway. I don't want to get the intense until we like knock this one down. All right, so what else are we going to add? That's a little pink floral. Let's get these back. Um, Angel Au Corsair. This is the 2020, 2020 version, is it? Yeah, this is kind of heady, but I can definitely wear this in spring. One summer come, I can't wear this. I'm not a huge fan of Angel. I keep telling y'all that I love um, Alien. Oh, that smells so good. So I'm going to go ahead and put this fruity floor here, but it does have patchouli in it, so it's kind of heady. It does not stand up, okay? Why they make this bottle like this, I don't know. That's probably the only reason why I really don't wear it a lot. It's because it's in the cabinet and I don't see it. So, yeah, and it's ugly laying there. Um, What else? What else? Let's move some of these back again. Just purchased La Ligue Soleil recently, and I really like it. It's a pretty, like, floral with some orange, like, is a mandarin orange in it but i do like this i'm gonna put her here and we're gonna make sure we spray her for spring i can put her up front she's cute she's cute all right y'all so one thing about tuberose is i love the note tuberose i really like it with white florals when it's flanked with white florals maybe some vanilla or something like that i love all the tuberose uh notes that are in the mancera fragrances i just really like tuberose however this twist this uh twilly um it's different. It's like an old school tuberose. I'm going to try it one more time before I mail this off to someone. But, uh, yeah. One more time. One more time. Only because it's been cool in the mornings. And I have really been enjoying um, tuberose lately. Like, a lot. Tuberose, pear, that kind of thing. I've really been enjoying that. There's too much going on. Oh, my goodness. That's the one thing about these bottles. That's why I used to like clear bottles. Now, it's hard for me to... Um, see bottles out on the cabinet on the counter when there are all these colors <laughs> i think i'm going to add this nina richie to the tray this is a uh, pretty rose fragrance too um yeah i think so i think it's like sauce rose or rose something like that but i'm going to add this one because i can see me grabbing this it's like a watery like rose floral um yeah, it has a hint of sweetness in it, and I do enjoy that one, so I'm going to add that one to the tray, um, and I think we're going to call it a day on this top tier. I'm going to go ahead and add, am I going to add this, or am I going to wait for summer? Oh my God, this smells so good. Okay, so this this right here is Mont Blanc. It smells so freaking good to me. I, I'm i just amazed at how many people really don't like it, but it's definitely a citrus on the top pretty um sweet like floral 
I like it. So I'm going to add it up here only because I can see me like reaching for that a day or two. I'm definitely going to add Zadika Voltaire. Um, this is her, the, um, the EDP. Now, one thing about this, it's a pretty sandalwood vanilla, very vanilla for fragrance. And I have found myself spraying this with pretty much everything. So I'm going to put this on here. It's definitely something I'm going to wear with other fragrances or even alone. I really enjoy it. All right, so let's work from the bottom. I'm going to keep this on here. I'm just going to put the bottom. Actually, I'm going to wipe this up because I just sprayed perfume and it's all over the tray. Okay, so I won't do that again. It took forever to get that off. All right, so I am going to add this back on here. It'll just be, I think it's too, too many colors, so I'm going to put it back here. Uh, but I'm going to wear because I really enjoy that fragrance. Really sweet, pretty fragrance. Um, around this time, I really enjoy Prada Candy. Um, just a fun fragrance. I enjoy Prada Candy like spring and fall. Um, really pretty vanilla, benzoin. Oh, yeah, girl. <laughs> I like this one. I love Prada Candy Night, y'all. I've really been enjoying that one. It's almost empty, too. So, I'll have to order another one. So, let's keep it moving, friend. Um, what do I want to try? All right. So, I almost gave this one away not too long ago. I've had this one for a while. This is Pink Ecstasy from Montal. The one thing about this fragrance is when I first got it and I sprayed it, it smelled like that bug spray. We have, like, this roach spray we use in our garage to keep spiders out. Um, around all our gym equipment and stuff like that and it reminds me of that well it's been sitting for a while and this morning I was like let me spray it because before I say someone can have it let me try it and y'all it smells so freaking good to me I don't know if it's it's probably has some fruits in here with some pink floors but this is pretty we'll talk about this one day so she's back and uh, we're gonna try out I don't like all this I don't like the packaging I think it's just, it's cheapens the fragrance it's so expensive too but I'm gonna go ahead and throw that on tray um, since we throw an avid on tray, we definitely got to put this one. Um, this is Velvet Vanilla from Masera. Y'all, this is so good and sweet. And, um, let me tell you what this reminds me of. Um, I don't have nowhere else to spray on my body. Um, yeah, I can't think of it right now. This is the magnetic top. But, um, when I think of it, give me a second. I just sprayed a ton of stuff on me. So, I can't tell you what the, it's a syrupy thick velvet vanilla like this is one of the sweetest vanillas i've ever smelled in my life and it's long lasting and i can't wear it when it's like 90 plus degrees here but i can definitely rock this in spring and i rock it y'all like i love this so i'll definitely um put this on the tray all right so let's keep going let's do something else let's do um another mascara now this is roses greedy this is more this definitely screams spring this is your light uh watery green rose right yeah this smells like a green rose like um there's something definitely else that's in here it definitely has that mom it definitely has the mascara dna in here and um girl this rose right here it didn't last all day but it definitely reminds me of uh, like an old school rose made modern, but it's definitely for a more mature woman. This one right here. So, and I can see it for spring. So I'm going to throw her on the tray. Don't you just love the top of these bottles? Look at that. I, don't, I mean, I just love Mancera. I just would love to collect the whole collection. Let's keep going. Since we're going with the pink thing, I pulled out, um, this is Guerlain and this is Bloom of Rose. And this is a pretty... Rose fragrance on the top. It still has your citrus, bergamot, like kind of lavender um, spray. It smells really good. Then it has all these pretty florals like Bulgarian rose. And um, it's several roses in here. But y'all know how I feel about this one. This used to be my bedtime scent. Um, I love this one. This is the EDT. I never bought the EDP. But um, this is good enough for me. So we're going to put her here. All right, y'all. I love this. I love this. I'm going to spray this whole entire bottle this spring. Trust me. And then she's going to get a big bottle. This is Jimmy Choo. I want you. And this is the prettiest watery floral um, fragrance. It just smells so pretty to me. It reminds me of um, Edol. Um, but the difference is Edol lasts all day on me, girl. It got a little bit more must to it. But this smells so freaking good to me. Um... 
yeah this is pretty if you don't have this y'all go get this it's very inexpensive you can find this at macy's try this out let me know what you think but we're going to add her for sure because she's a cutie and she smells like the girl next door all right so i don't care what time of year it is this is amber oud and this is rouge and um from all her main i'm obsessed we know like we know we know, and the this, the other bottle, this will be like my, my, this is the second bottle I've used. I have a third bottle, but I'm packing it up to take uh, with me on a trip to give to someone if I see them. But um, I'm definitely ordering another bottle of this. I see they have a ton more that just came out. We're definitely going to add this to the um, tray because <laughs> this is a pretty much a clone for Bacard Rouge 540 x straight version. And I'm obsessed. I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you, but this is my easy dumb reach if i just want to spray something and go no i'm going to smell good all day um not to worry about refreshing or anything like that it gets a ton of compliments um and it's just like a mood booster i love this it's sweet it's cotton candy on on steroids but it's grown woman sexy central cotton candy it's not your little girl fragrance okay love it I'm going to go ahead and add C, and this is Passion. Um, I like her. She's a black currant fragrance. I actually wore this for Thanksgiving, and it's pretty good. It is, um, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. I think it's perfect for spring, so I'm definitely going to throw it here. And you see this bottle. You think sexy and, yeah, date night, but I don't feel it when I spray it. But I do like it for running errands and stuff like that. Um... I think I'm going to try the um, Intense in the upcoming weeks and see what I think. I want to say that when I wore this, I got like three and a half hours on it. I really didn't smell it like I thought I was going to smell it. I didn't overspray either because I was going to a Thanksgiving event and I didn't want them to taste my fragrance. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, I'm definitely going to rock this again soon and let you know what I think. But so far, I do like that fragrance. Can you believe I had this many color bottles? Um, if you know me personally, you're probably shocked. But I do. I do have this many colored bottles. <laughs> Alright, so this is new to my collection. I just shared this with you all. This is Opulent Red. I don't know if I'm going to get to wear this. I, I just want to test it out, y'all. That's all I want to do. I did wear one night to bed. And it had the weirdest something to it. I, it, I don't know the notes of this because I still can't find it. But it has something in it that's very Middle Eastern. Not oud, but something that's... It sticks. I can tell you, I wore it one night. I can smell it next morning. I keep wanting to stay saffron, y'all, but nothing like MFK. It's the weirdest fragrance. And um, I'm going to wear this in day so I can figure it out. Because I can't put my, yeah, I can't put my finger on what this smell like. But I wouldn't recommend it. Not right now. No, definitely not right now. Because I can't even tell you what's in it. <laughs> All right, so another one I want to add is this Nishani, and it's Tuberosa. Y'all, this smells so pretty to me. Um, now I'm going to say between these two, I like this one when it's cold. I like this one anytime. I really love this fragrance, y'all, because it, ha it has a memory attached to it. But this one, um, I love it. It's not as strong to me as the Nishani Ani. But um, for some reason, I like the tuberos in here. I want to say better than the Tom Ford. Oh, my God. But I told you all. So this reminds me of the old school Roberto Cavalli. And I love that fragrance. A very good memory attached to that. I used to wear it when I was a flight attendant. And so um, every time I spray this, I smile. Like automatically. And I love it. And I want to overspray. So instead of overspraying this, what I did was I just decanted the... Uh, Roberto Cavalli um, so I can spray it with it and it just boosted in the last so long I love it um, yeah this is this is just joining a bottle for me so she's definitely going on the tray for spring um, I could just see her in spring you know what I mean she just she's so much joy all right so this next one is Magnolia Sensual this is a Magnolia uh, Floral uh, Spendita from Bavari I really like this one. It's more of a grown woman's fragrance. This is a cool spring night fragrance. 
This is not your pretty girl next door fragrance, okay? Um, it has a little something extra to it. So, uh, fun fact, my favorite tree, my favorite tree, y'all, is a magnolia tree. It's nothing more beautiful than see a huge magnolia tree with those big, pretty green leaves and huge white floral um, flowers. So, yeah, I like this one. I'm going to put this one on a tray. I didn't wear it much last year. I mean, we're, uh, yeah, we're not quite halfway there, but we're moving. So, I'm definitely going to add her to the tray and give her some love this year. All right, so I hope that everyone was able to get on the $40 um, Macy's pickup on this fragrance when it was on sale. This is Narciso Rodriguez for her. I love this fragrance, y'all. This is so pretty, musky. This is the EDT. Um, it's like a white floral, but very musky and pretty, and it lasts so long on me. And I wore this on my last cruise trip, and everybody was like, this just smells so clean and so good. Like, I got so many compliments out just sitting out and the wind whipping through and you're smelling clean, like a white, clean floral. So I'm definitely going to put this on a tray because it's perfect for this time, even though it's not a pink bottle. And then um, another one that's not a pink bottle is this Juliet Has a Gun Pair. This is definitely the fragrance for right now. Definitely. Now we have about, what, 12, 13 days before spring? Actually, springs. Uh, but... Um, for Texas, our spring comes a little early, so we're definitely going to add this to the tray. I was trying to put it where you don't see all those colors, but I didn't forget about this one, so I'm just going to add this um, Alien Eau Corsier just back here somewhere. Um, so I remember to spray her, because I'll see her and be like, oh yeah, let me spray her. So I'll just add her back there. I might find a stand. Let me see if I can find something to sit her in. Alright, so I just grabbed this little... Um, decorative bowl from downstairs i think that'll take up some space too so i don't have to have so many out here so i'm gonna add the e-doll so i don't have to worry about the stand in here really pretty summery flora and i'm gonna go ahead and add the um, alien alien angel angel au Corsair 2020 the way they're like they're out the way I don't have to worry about them and maybe we'll pick like three more random fragrances and call it a day. I'm going to take this off the tray and I'm going to sit this on my nice thing. I am going to add Alien Goddess because I love this fragrance, y'all. It is not a long-lasting fragrance. It's not. I would say four hours and I mean overspray, moisturized skin and everything. But I just tossed this in my purse. I actually have... Oh, girl. No, okay. I thought it was halfway done. <laughs> I got nervous. Um, I have a decant. I keep in my purse of this. And I have one in my car, too. That's how much I like that fragrance. It does not smell like Alien. It is different. It has a little bit of the jasmine in it. Just a hint of the DNA. But I love it. Um, I picked this one up recently. This is Mancera. And this is Musk of Flowers. Now, the one thing about this, y'all been wearing this for three days straight. So, today will be the first day that I'm going to wear something different. And, um... I don't want to say this until I try it, but for some reason, this reminds me of uh, like a Chanel Gabrielle. I don't know why I keep thinking it Essence, but um, that's what this kind of reminds me of. So uh, I'm going to leave it here because I'm still testing and trying it. Plus, we need to talk about it in more detail. So this is going to remind me to talk to you about it. And then um, let's see. Let's pick another Mancera. So we'll, are we going to do? We probably won't, oh, this smells so good. Good Lord. We probably won't put, mm, mm I can't help it. This smells amazing. All right, so I'm debating on some fragrances, y'all. <laughs> I can't put them all up here, and I really just wanted to have, like, this many and maybe one more and call it a day. Um, let me tell you how many it is. Two, four, six, eight. So that's 26. I really just wanted, like, 25 up here. I'm probably going to add two more, but the crazy thing is I want to add all these. I want to add Prada La Femme. I love it. I want to add Mancera Holidays, Coco Vanille, Choco Violet. Oh my God. Instant Crush. Listen, Amber Fever. I want all these all the time out on the tray. That's how much I enjoy these fragrances. I am really enjoying this Zoja fragrance, and this is, I think it's Amabile. Um, y'all, this smells really good. Now that I've had it for a while, it's the weirdest, creamiest, citrusy, weird fragrance, and I like it. Um, I've been wearing this a lot, and this is Alien, I think Mirage. Y'all, this smells so watery and good to me. Almost like, um, 
Oh, let me see. Yeah, almost like a watery metallic something with a little bit of, I don't know if that's jasmine. This is so good. And um, I wore it last month, so I was trying not to bring it out. I want to bring this out. This is um, Libre. I asked them how to say it at the Macy's the other day. I want to bring it out, but I kind of want to stick to like some pink florals. I don't know. I don't know. And this is what I'm saying. This, I love this. If you've never tried Dolce & Gabbana, um, the one, this is the EDT. It's a bit lighter. I want to say this has peach or something in it. Oh my goodness. This is last on me all day long. I really like this. I really want to wear this for uh, spring and summer. I'm just going to put it here. And I, I promise you, I'm probably going to grab that more than I'm going to grab this. Um, but I think I'm going to put this on my bedside table on the other side because this is what I wear at night. So I won't be wearing this during the day anyway. And I can just reach for it and spray it at night. So that'll take something off the tray. This is just to try for a review that... Um, the Taffa fragrance. This is not even a Taffa. I don't even know. It's, it is a Taffa. Yeah, so we, that won't even count. Let's just say that doesn't count. Um, around this time of year, I really enjoy this. This is our moth, and this is um, Club de Nuit. This is a very close, reminiscent. <laughs> listen, this is a very close dupe for uh, Coco Mademoiselle. Let's just be honest. Very close. It's sweeter. For some reason, y'all, this thing lasts longer on me than the original. I like both of them. Um, is that what this is? Yeah, that's what this is right here. This is Chanel. Yeah, Chanel um, Coco. I don't know if you can see that. Mademoiselle. I wonder if I can zoom this in where you can see it. I went and got a sample from Macy's the other day because I want to show just how similar these two are so it'd be a whole nother it's a whole nother video y'all hold on yeah they're very similar except for um yeah so this one this one's stronger to me than this one and this is a little bit more sweeter than this one i like both of them I, like i told you i had coco mademoiselle years ago that's when everybody used to wear this. And they're so close. Um, yeah. But I really enjoy this for spring. So there's no way I can leave this out. No way. I'll be opening my cabinet. I'm going to open my cabinet and pull this out anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it on the tray. Because I know me. I'm going to spray this. Um, this is my second second bottle of this. And when the first one was empty, I said, oh, I'll just go get a Mademoiselle bottle. And I was online one day and I saw this for 25 bucks and was like, what? And I ended up buying this one instead. So now when this is gone, I'll probably get a Mademoiselle, but I don't need it. Like I don't need it. Yeah, they're too similar. They're too freaking similar. This is stronger though. A little bit more, got a little something in it, you know, but I really enjoy it. All right. Um, we're taking too long. I have space for probably like one or two more fragrances, but I'm just going to add one. Now, this one I'm just trying out, so it's not really like a fragrance, whatever, right? I'm trying to figure out what I want to put on here. So, let me know down below, what is your favorite Mancera's fragrance? That's what I want to know. What is your favorite Mancera fragrance? Whether it's, you know, it doesn't matter, summer, spring, winter, just let me know. Um, so, now, I have to smell every last one of these to see which one I'm going to put on here. Then I pull it out. This is Instant Crush. This is the perfect time for this. This is kind of reminiscent of, of um, BR542, but it's heady, and this is spring. This is spring, because when summer comes, I can't really wear this. So I, I'm definitely just going to put this here, because when summer comes, I, I can't. It's too hot for that. All right. Um, I'm not going to put La Femme on here this time. I'm going to save her for summer or maybe for April. We still got April and May, so I'll save her. All right, Choco Violet, I like for fall and for spring because it's a cooler um, weather like fragrance. It's like violet and chocolate, y'all. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. I'm going to put this back in the cabinet and just, you know, just know your time is coming for him. I mean, I wear her, so it's not like I don't. All right, so now I have like three or four left to kind of choose from. Um, Mancera Holidays. 
Look at this bottle. This is a four ounce bottle. Just so you know, this is a four ounce bottle. This is ridiculous. Um, this is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. I I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so Coco Vanille. Look at this one. This is ridiculous, but um, I can wear this at any time. I can wear this at any time. This is actually a huge decant is in my travel bag uh, for my vacation coming up. So I'm not going to put this on the tray because I'm going to wear it anyway on my vacation. I think I'm going to wear this one on my vacation too. So I probably don't need to pack this one. I probably don't need to put holidays here because I'm going to wear this on vacation too. So we'll just do that because I'm wearing it anyway. And then we'll just add Amber Fever. Really light, pretty, ambery, mascara for. This is pretty. I love this one. This has something in it. Is it rum or something? It has something in it. Um, yeah. I couldn't help myself. I, I have to have the Alien Mirage for this time of year. I love it. It's a pretty watery fragrance. No, it doesn't smell like Alien. Has a little something in it that reminds me of Alien, but um, I like this fragrance and I want it on a tray because I know I'm going to spray it. I'm going to spray that. Everything else I'm going to put up, clean up, and then uh, be right back. All right, so I'm pretty excited about this tray, especially with all the pink bottles. I'm surprised just how much I'm enjoying the red and pink colors. Um, yeah, this is kind of amazing to me. But anyway, I'm loving it. I'm enjoying it. So I can't wait to try these out and come back and talk to you specifically about the Latafa one and then the Golden Flowers from Mancera. I can't wait for that. So over here on my nightstand next to my uh, bed, I did pull out the um, Juliet Has a Gun pair. I told you all I might just spray that just because. And then I always keep one over here anyway. This one is Floriental Tuberose. I think this is, um, yeah, this is Dossier's interpretation of Gucci Bloom. I like to spray it on my sheets sometimes, so that's why that's there. So on this side of my bed, I have Derek Lamb 10 Crosby. I think this is um, Crosby Street or something like that, what this one's called. This is a pretty clean floral. This is more like um, a very luxe body wash, kind of clean, like a white creamy body wash. And um, it just smells really good and clean. And sometimes I like spraying my sheets with this. So that's why this one is here. All right, so last fragrances that I pulled out, that they actually have been sitting here for a couple of uh, months, actually. I really enjoy um, Hugo Boss' the Scent for Her Private Accord. I've talked about this over and over and over. I am obsessed with this fragrance. However, it does not last long. So when I'm reading or chilling or just enjoying my space, I like to spray this. Um, sometimes on my mini sofa, I just kind of like spray this in the air. It just smells really good. So that's why I keep this one in here. So I'm able to use it and smell it. Even if, um, you know, just for like, two, three hours, I can smell it. Now, JC from Ganache sent this to me. It was a fragrance he was testing out a while ago. This smells like Fruit Loops, y'all. My kids love this fragrance. And I was going to let the girls have it, but this is all I have. I actually need to contact him, see if he has any more. But um, it just sits in here. It's a very fruity, light fragrance. And sometimes in the morning, I kind of like spray this in the air in this upstairs area. And um, just smells good for the kids to wake up to something that smells good in the morning. And then this one is like one of my favorite comfort fragrances. This is Ombre Vanille. And um, just a really inexpensive $20 fragrance that lasts hours on me. Look how much I use. And sometimes I'll just spray myself or spray my pillows when I'm sitting here reading because it's a comfort fragrance. And I love this. All right, so the candle that I'm going to burn for March is Mary um, Cookie. Y'all, this smells so good. I've been burning for the last couple of days. Look at this. Oh my God, I had a bit of week. And um, it smells amazing. So that's the fragrance I'm going to burn for my bedroom. I'm going to show you the, the fragrances I'm going to burn for the um, library room as well. There isn't much left on the Blackberry Cream um, Frosting Candle. Um, so I'm going to finish this one out. It's a little smut down there because I had a um, incense burning. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this one out for um, this week. Yeah, you can really see the smut on this thing. But that's from having um, an incense burning in here. All right. So that's it for the candles upstairs. 
We normally burn one in the hallway as well. I'm not sure what I'm going to burn. I ask the kids what they want to smell. I know they like certain fragrances. So we'll pick out something together. And then we'll come back soon on a video and um, talk about more new fragrances I have on the way. So thank y'all for hanging with me. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I am going to upload this video on both channels um, because I noticed that I have some new viewers on the other channel that um, aren't on my old channel. That way I can put this content out to both of you all. I know I was going to separate it, but I just wanted to see, um, I guess, the traffic I get on both channels. That's all. But anyway, this is my tray. I'm so freaking excited. It's so pretty. Let me know your favorite fragrance for spring and your favorite Maxera fragrance. And what candle are you burning this week? Peace and blessings.